that's because God lives here. It's his house. My house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. For 72 years, this place has been a house of prayer for all of God's family. The rich, the poor, the halt, the blind, the lame, those unhappy and those happy and those seeking and those not seeking. But God, this is his house. And I'm his house. And you're his house. The house of God has come together today to find out what he, the Je Jehovah, the God that Israel would not even say his name because they had no vows in Jehovah. They, they didn't put the A's there. They couldn't pronounce his name. And the reason they couldn't is because Moses said he's holy. His name is not to be called by human lips, but you're to worship him. You're to praise him. You're to give him the glory. He appeared in the cloud, he appeared in the fire, he appeared in the water that came from the rock, he appeared in the breath that held the sea back. He appeared in the manna that fell from heaven every day. Hope everybody becomes conscious of Jehovah God in this place. It's his house. Nothing is impossible with him. And whatever your human limitations are, whatever your human problem is, and whatever you're dealing with in your life, he is greater than that. He said to Moses, tell Pharaoh that I am, that I am, has sent you. We're going to deal in his word today. We're going to deal in his spirit. Breathe on me, Holy Spirit. Were you saying that? Were you singing that? How many were feeling the Holy Spirit breathing upon you? I felt his breath sitting in my chair. I felt his breath as that beautiful praise team, anointed of God, lifted us up in song in those two songs. We're going to pray right now, especially for anyone that's suffering in this building right now, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. We're going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for, uh, bring me that handkerchief. Well, would you anoint that handkerchief with oil there? Uh, and uh, we're going to pray over that. This goes to the state of Georgia. Find me a Paul Beast. We're going to pray that God will tiny their family, their need in the state of Georgia. You can stay here with me for the fair right there. Hold that prayer. And we're going to believe God that when last night we anointed a handkerchief and uh, it went out to our sister Diane's son, William. We believe that this is New Testament worship. We find this in the Bible. This is in the scriptures. And so we do it as the church. We believe when they touch this, there's a transferring of power, of anointing to those that believe and those that accept. We're going to pray for them. We're going to pray for anyone here that's sick and afflicted and in need. We're going to pray for four, uh, three or four ministers here. And uh, two of them in our own ranks here, Brother Don Merriman, that is not good at all in a declining state. And um, he needs help from God. Brother Dennis Carlson, that we need so much in the church. And these are ministers we need here. I miss them. I miss them.
Mr. Gibbs. Let's pray for these ministers. Let's pray then for two that comes to my mind outside of here. Uh, Brother Ross, Jack Ross, in Louisville, Kentucky, who was operated on for cancer and needs God to help him. I'm not close to Brother Ross in the natural, but I pray for him. Because being close in the natural has nothing to do with you having faith in God. That God will help a man of God. Amen. Let's pray for Brother Ross. Let's pray for Brother Wilkins and I am close to him in uh, Terre Haute, Indiana, a cancer victim also, minister of the church. These are ministers. Terre Haute, Indiana, Brother Melvin Wilkinson, a great man of God. Brother Ross, great man of God in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's pray for them. And let's pray for everyone, Sister Phyllis, here in our own church that we miss so much. Sister Phyllis Kenzer, that at the end of this month, when she sees the urologist, he will finally be anointed of God yes. to bring this to a close. Yes. That she's suffering in her body. Let's pray that way. Yes. April the 2nd, April the 2nd, that God will show this man wisdom to deal with this place in her kidney. God help her. God help her. And let's pray for Sister Morris, I talked with her today, and she needs prayer. Let's pray for Don Norman, who had foot surgery uh, this week, and uh, isn't able to be on his feet. I'd like to welcome Eddie home here from the camp. He's been in, in Georgia, but Eddie's home with us to work with us and to help us and to be a blessing, and I know God will bless him. Amen. And then I'd like to welcome Jim. Way in the back. Jim, hold your hand up there. They called me from Manatee Memorial the other day. And Jim has been sleeping in the woods. His bedroom, I went and saw it. It was a mattress between two palmetto bushes. And uh, the hospital said he's not able to stay in those woods with his shoulder surgery and has an incision in his uh, shoulder. You'll surely get an infection there. Well, I didn't call the Salvation Army. I didn't call anybody. I just found a room for him here on the grounds. Amen. He isn't sleeping in the woods now. Amen. His mattress is not between the See, I, I believe in a gospel that tells you to do something. That's right. Amen. Doesn't tell you to pick up the phone and call somebody. I believe in a gospel that tells you to do something. That's what's finally going to bring this church out. You know what that is? The love of God. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There's no greater force than the love of God. It will finally overcome everything else. The love of God. Just keep showing love. Just keep showing love. He's an alcoholic, has been. He told me, Brother Marlowe, I quit. But I can't stay quit out in that palmetto bush. I have to be where people can pray for me. Amen. 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 Because that's what the church is all about. It's about recovery. Yes. And restoration. Yes. And healing. Yes. That's what Jesus is about. Yes. Agreed? Amen. 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 That's what Jesus is about. Amen. Is healing, recovery, restoration. Praise the name of the Lord. When the church loses that, it might as well pack up its hymns, pack up its buildings, pack up its pews, yes, head for the hill. Yes, because Jesus is the center 
and the reason I'm here right now. If you feel that way, lift your hands and give them a praise offering right now, wherever you are. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus is the reason. His name. So we're going to pray for these, and we're going to pray for all the rest. Mr. Donna Spears over here, holding fast if she will uh, go home if she goes home. I'm, I'm not even telling her to go home. She can become a Floridian as far as I'm concerned. Yep. And, uh, and oh, she has a house here. She has an apartment. And uh, Charlotte lives here. And Brother Darrell lives here. So this is their home. Praise our God. Yes. So I'm saying to you, let's pray for all the sick and all the afflicted. And let's keep everybody in prayer and let's search a long list on the board. I'm not going through it, but you can look at it and see it and pray for those. Pray for those. Pray for those. How many have a personal need here today? How many have a personal need? Would you be close enough to your sister, brother standing, touch their hand and say, I have a personal need? I have a personal need. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to call a man down here that I know lives a sanctified life, lives a dedicated life. I'm going to ask him to stand with me as a prayer partner here. Brother Joe Knight, would you come down here and stand with me as a prayer partner? Praise the name of the Lord. This man served as a deacon, an elder, a trustee in the church for years and years lives a dedicated life. Amen. Let's get strength around us and let's pray. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.